This next module is about charrette scheduling. We're going to go through the whole charrette process, the day-by-day -day events of the charrette, to prepare you to complete your charrette schedule. So far, let's review what we've done. We've done the project setup and organization, guiding principles, objectives and measures, charrette purpose and products, charrette team formation, stakeholder analysis, complexity analysis, charrette system roadmap. And now it's on to the charrette schedule and budgeting estimates. So the goal here is to create a charrette schedule that provides for all the activities of the charrette within a moderately uncomfortable compressed time frame. That's a good way to think of it. There is a time compression aspect of this that we've talked about. The magic of creating charrette schedules is to have a charrette that's not too long and not too short. You're going to be referring to the complexity analysis and to the stakeholder analysis and the charrette products list to do charrette scheduling. Some rules of thumb. First of all, all charrettes open and close with major public meetings. We try to include three feedback loops within the charrette and allow a couple of days or a minimum of 24 hours between the feedback loops. You're going to meet with some key stakeholders on day one and by the time you go to the second public meeting, you're going to meet with all the key stakeholders. And don't forget to leave time for production or you're going to be up all night and maybe not even get it done. One important rule of thumb is that the more difficult the project, the longer the charrette. And the major difficulty components are budget, politics, and the difficulty of the design itself. We're going to return to this a little later. The five phases of the charrette itself starts with organization, education, and creating a vision, a community vision. Then the team in phase 2.2 moves into creating alternative concepts, followed by creating the preferred plan by synthesizing those concepts, followed by developing the plan, and finally producing and presentation of the charrette plan. Within this, you're looping in the feedback loops with the stakeholders. This diagram talks about how the charrette team is working through the different phases of the charrette. So on the left-hand side are the main meetings and circles, and then the phases, alternative concepts, and internal pinup adjusting preferred plan, plan development, down the left-hand side. The design leader is on the top. The design leader appoints three concept teams. For instance, these teams in A are an urban designer and architect, team B, urban designer planner, team C, urban designer and landscape architect. Each one of those teams start working on different concepts of alternatives. Floating are engineers, economists, and other specialists that float between the teams. Then moving down to concept A, B, and C under internal pinup. An internal pinup is where the teams pin their work up, review it, adjust it, and take it to the public meeting or the open house. So the three concepts go to the public meeting or open house. And it's in that review uh, that the Best ideas from the three are then merged into a preferred plan and then into a final plan, which is taken into presentations. Under plan development, which is in the bottom left-hand side there, you see in the preferred plan, you're working on pieces like the transportation plan, the economic plan, detailed plans, codes, and renderings. So this is just a flow of how a typical team would work usually a large team, large enough to have maybe uh, six, seven, eight, nine people, would work during the charrette, during the following process that I'm going to talk about now. Here we have this process laid out in the charrette schedule that we've been looking at in the course. I'm going to take you through the different phases uh, and talk about the flow of it to prepare you to create your own charrette schedule. 
The charrette schedule is structured around the meetings and the flow of the design work. So here we have in the shaded boxes the meetings that take place. These are pre-scheduled meetings with key stakeholders during the charrette. On the bottom you see the public meetings. There are usually three of them. Uh, everyone comes to those meetings, it's hoped. The other meetings are those that are scheduled. We're going to refer to the following document. Remember the stakeholder analysis? Remember that last column on the right where you put in the charrette participation? Anybody who was, or any group that was indicated a separate meeting, as you see in the right here, these are the people who are going to be in these meetings that are in the shaded boxes. So let's go through those meetings. But you're going to want to have the stakeholder analysis at your disposal because you're going to have to list out every single one of these meetings that you indicated and you're going to have to schedule them. So here we have the first one, primary stakeholders meetings. Who are you going to meet with the first day? Well, you're not going to meet with everybody. You don't have any designs ready yet. You're still going to the public meeting that night. These primary stakeholder meetings are just with people who are important, like officials, landowners, community members, leaders. You just want to check in with them. They're almost political in nature to make sure they're going to come, that their people are going to come, and to get last minute advice before you go public that night. So here we have the first public meeting on the first night. You remember that this meeting was highlighted by the visioning exercises that we talked about in the very first module. This is where the community gets to be the experts for the night. They draw, they make lists, they prioritize, they tell the charrette team what's important to them. The charrette team then begins to work on alternative concepts over the next day or two, working on drawings like this of different uh, urban design, transportation, environmental investigations. When they have enough to show the stakeholders, they hold stakeholder reviews. So referring to your stakeholder analysis, you are going to be reviewing this with certainly, for instance, uh, agencies, approval agencies. The Department of Transportation is always usually included in these type of technical reviews. You call these initial stakeholder reviews to give an initial feedback loop with these uh, important uh, gatekeepers, we might call them. These are pre-scheduled meetings that take place in the Charette Studio. Next, the team works on alternative concept refinements. The idea is to reduce the alternative concepts to a manageable number. You identify the strengths and weaknesses of each alternative. You still keep alternatives going. So in the chart I showed you earlier, there might be three alternatives still moving through to the next public meeting or open house. Here we have an open house in action in this picture. The, an open house is where you basically throw open the doors for a few hours and tell people to come on in, look over your shoulder, talk to the designers, see where we at, we're at, and get their input. A um, public meeting is a more formal meeting with a formal agenda uh, that, would, that would be actually more work to do, but is an option. Then it's on to preferred plan synthesis. This is where the team takes the information from the open house or public meeting and starts to move to, to synthesize a preferred plan. Here's just a graphic that shows a preferred plan in the middle uh, that was influenced by a sustainability, transportation, stakeholder surveys, the objectives and measures, and many more things that go into the development of the preferred plan. Basically, you take all the best ideas of the alternatives that have been created so far and merge them into a single plan. That is the work of the Charette team. Here we show that more stakeholder reviews are scheduled in the preferred plan synthesis phase before a possible open house, as well as in the plan development phase.
So you just have to kind of space these stakeholder reviews out as you think are necessary according to the stakeholders. Some stakeholders need to come in twice. So this is an example where you might have the Department of Transportation come in on day three and they might come again on day five. The plan development phase is takes place after the preferred plan is developed. This phase is where you detail out the plan. You break off into your different specialties, having landscape architects work on um, drainage and other technical issues, transportation engineers working on street sections, code people working on the codes, urban designers on the urban design plan and so forth, developing the plan in more detail. More intermediate stakeholder views, of course, can be, take place as necessary. Here we have some stakeholder reviews all the way on day six. For instance, maybe the mayor's chief of staff might be invited in at the very end to review the final work to make sure that it's on track or the developer or whoever is in charge of the project. And then it's on to production. And here you see that the meetings basically go away. And the production team, the charrette team, puts their heads down and works to create the documents and drawings to a refined level capable of informing and inspiring the public. This is very much a production management process run by the charrette manager. It's important to be able to orchestrate this process so there is not a log jam at the computers at the very end. You need to stagger out the production. And then on to the final charrette public meeting on the last day. The goal of the public meeting is to inform and inspire the participants. By this time, most participants, which normally are about 75% of the people, have been to more than one charrette event. What they see will not be a complete surprise to them. They should kind of have seen the evolution of what's going on. Nonetheless, the charrette team should assume that a good number of people, maybe 25% of them, are there the first time. So you need to summarize the project, the log of the charrette, the evolution of the plan, and show the final plan in a concise and inspirational presentation. The uh, presentation is followed by questions and answers, public input.